I think that being Egyptian and being from Egypt and having been here is part of what brought me to Harvard. I have the chance as the co-chair of the Arab Conference at Harvard to really help curate dialogue about what the youth are doing in the region. And I think that one of the things I'm most proud of is really working with my co-chair to find treasures, just to find young people who are dynamic and engaged. We wanted to have a very truthful, hopeful conversation about what the youth are doing to design the world and the future in their image. I've seen some pretty scrappy, dynamic kids out of Egypt just blossom and thrive here and outside, and I'm lucky to consider myself one of them. I'm working on a blockchain accelerator project that I'm really excited about because I believe uh, in the ability of the region to leapfrog over certain kinds of infrastructure. We shouldn't be afraid of the technology that we can use as tools to make our world more inclusive for people who don't get to play the game at all. I would hope that people would see tools as resources to use for the good of all of us. We, I study something called applied ethics and this is exactly the kind of thing that is now quite interesting in the technological space because we are building social frameworks for technologies that are either completely new or new ways of using technology in, in old systems and in societies that are looking to upgrade and augment with these tech. So I would say that if anybody wants to enter my field they should be prepared to be optimistic because the world is already full, I think, of dystopian narratives.